Entertainment Luxury. As a singer, dancer, actor, philanthropist, and composer, Prince Rogers Nelson was well known throughout the United States for his creative songwriting, superb performance, and lavish staging, costumes, and vocal skill. He wrote songs in the funk, R&B, new wave, soul, blues, rock, and jazz genres during his musical career, this took place in Minneapolis, Minnesota on June 7, 1958, Prince Rogers Nelson was born at Mount Sinai Hospital. Prince was given that name by his father, Louisiana-born pianist John Lewis Nelson, who also played in the Prince Rogers Trio, a four-piece jazz ensemble from New Orleans. Maddie Della Shaw, his wife and Prince's mother, sang in the group. Prince was honored by receiving seven Grammy Awards, and one Golden Globe Award in his musical career. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Prince. Before we start don't forget to poke that like button and subscribe. Number 1, Paisley Park Home, Paisley Park, Prince's $10 million, 65,000 square foot recording studio home, was constructed in 1987. Prince created the look. As you explore the space, you'll sense this. The interior is dominated by numerous surprising aspects, as one would anticipate from Prince. Because Paisley signifies colorful and park implies to play or have fun, Paisley Park received its name. Or, to put it another way, Prince's colorful playground. Madonna, R.E.M., and Stevie Wonder all recorded there, but it was never meant to be a business, by the end of the 1990s, it had stopped taking on new clients. In the end, nobody knows exactly when Prince made it home. He aspired to build a self-sufficient dominion that was free from oversight and criticism, where he could have complete control and seamlessly integrate his personal and professional lives. Prince studied musicology there. Number 2 1984 BMW 633 CS the Paul Brack-designed 6 Series was elegant and opulent, with a leather interior, a manual 5-speed transmission, and Michelin 220-50-390 TRX tires mounted on original BMW 390 wheels. 14-inch Michelin 1 tires, fitted on the vehicle's original 14-inch BMW rims, were also included. Price was touring in 1984 in support of his all-time best-selling album, 1999, which included the classic song, Little Red Corvette. Although a red Corvette is more breathtaking, this BMW was sporty enough to catch Prince's eye. Not the red Corvette this time. Number 3 High Heels, Prince was more agile in his stilettos than most women who wear them. With specially constructed 4-inch boosters at his soles, he would perform the splits, jump up, high kick, squat, and sprint back and forth across the stage. In spite of his enormous brilliance and magnetism, Prince Rogers Nelson was a small man. He was a renowned five-foot, three-man who, although not really needing them, decided to dress up a little by wearing heels. Prince once added that he liked wearing heels because they attracted women. Approximately 3,000 pairs of Prince's heels were manufactured to his specifications by Andre No. 1, a 60-year-old cobbler shop on Sunset Boulevard. Andre Rastamayan started the company. High heels for Prince was automatic. Number 4 Custom Guitars Even with his larger-than-life persona, Prince's impact on the electric guitar has always been greater. As a virtuoso, Prince had otherworldly guitar skills that were unmatched. Prince played a distinctive electric guitar called the Model C throughout the 1980s and the early 1990s. Jerry Auerswald, a well-known German luthier who also created the cymbal guitar, produced it. Similar to the Roland G707, which Prince also uses, it has a sustained bow, a bar connecting the body and headstock. The guitar's humbucker and single-coil pickups are all located close to the bridge, and the tuning mechanism is built into the bridge. Gloria von Thurn and Taxis gave Prince his first Model C in 1986. Number 5 Secret Stash Only the closest members of Prince's inner circle had access to the hidden vault he kept in the basement of his Paisley Park studio. Following the singer's passing in April 2016, the Carver County Sheriff's Office reportedly released images from inside the vault. 
According to the CBC, it was crammed with some hidden treasures, including 67 gold bars valued at $840,000, 47 pairs of high-heeled ankle boots, reel-to-reel -reel tapes of classic albums, rare footage on VHS, a duet with Michael Jackson, and endless Batman-inspired works. The stash also allegedly included enough recorded music to create a posthumous CD every year for the next 100 years, according to archivists. His estate has now made some of that music available. Get off, these songs. Number 6 Public Library Donation Prince did amazing humanitarian work, but he was unable to publicly discuss it due to his steadfast adherence to the Jehovah's Witness faith. The Louisville Free Public Library's Western Branch was the country's first fully staffed library for African Americans when it opened in 1905, but over the years, the historic structure had been challenged with closure. Prince donated a $12,000 check to the library in 2001, and asked to remain unidentified. He didn't want anyone to know, according to former librarian and Louisville radio host Haven Harrington. He just wanted to do the right thing. Only after Prince's passing was a picture of that check released to the media by the library. Number 7 Shopping Spree, a cup of coffee and Stevie Wonder CDs were among Prince's last purchases. Prince bought some deals at his neighborhood record shop on Record Store Day, five days before he passed away. The star purchased six CDs, according to Bob Fuchs, manager of Electric Fetus, Talking Book, by Stevie Wonder, too. The Time Has Come by the Chambers Brothers 3. Hedgera by Joni Mitchell 4. Inspirational Gospel Classics by Swan Silvertones 5. Missing Persons, The Best of Missing Persons. 6. Santana 4 by Santana. After saying goodbye to supporters at a nearby hair salon, Prince got on his bike and rode off to a neighboring coffee shop. Alia al Hilwani, the barista, reported that he preferred a mocha without whipped cream. Number 8 Purple Rain House Fans of Prince's life and work will find the house from his debut film Purple Rain to be a famous landmark and an amazing piece of history. Many fans and collectors had long wished to own it, and just eight months prior to Prince's passing, that wish came true. Unfortunately, only one person would be able to acquire possession of the home, and it wasn't a Prince fan. The outside of the house, with the added value of Prince's purchase, remains a part of film and music history even though inside images from the movie were shot at a different location. All that glitter ain't gold. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Prince. Make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to see our next list. Bye for now.